it's amazing the serendipitous uh, path that God creates for us to find our life partner. There's, you know, some whys in the road that occurred, and I'm confident one of those events happened during Courtney's time in middle school. I'd been away on a business trip and had come home, and to my dismay, there was an orange t-shirt in our laundry room. It wasn't just orange, it was burned orange. <laughs> so this was definitely a teaching opportunity. And I, I reminded her that we don't wear that color in this house. We don't allow <laughs> that color in this house. Several years go by, right? And I couldn't have been more proud when Courtney announced that she was going to be a sinner. And both chose programs at OU that would keep them on campus for five years. As the days and months passed by during our last semester of school, we went on more dates and became friends. Soon after, girlfriend and boyfriend, and months, best friends, and years, fiancés, now, husband and wife. I'm so happy. Yeah, it's so in beautiful. The dress. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's amazing. It's going to be a good day, okay? Oh, it is. <laughs> You're a princess. It's crazy. It's my wedding day. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love you so much. Love you. You pray for something all your life, and that is your child comes to find a soulmate to share their life's walk with. I have no doubt that that prayer was answered through a fish young man. Let's go. Hello, I love you. You're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. yeah. From the moment I met you, I noticed you were kind, spoke softly, and had a gentle heart. And you just being in your presence would make me better. And I knew God just didn't place you in my life to pass through. You're the strongest, smartest, most beautiful person I know. However, it's the person and soul on the inside, that which I first got a glimpse of that first day and came to know that makes it so easy to be myself, that inspires me, calms me, excites me, and is so easy to love. You are the most selfless person I've ever known. You treat strangers like a brother, you're able to see the good in everything, and you love others just like Jesus did. To know you is to love you. You will find me when you need me. I am watching you. Don't worry. You will find me when you call me. I am listening. This is a time of excitement and anticipation, it's a time of joy, it's a spiritual moment, and it's a time of holy commitment. You both have everything you need to be successful in this relationship. And I love the mission statement that you created for your family. It says this, with servant hearts, our family will share with others and oneself the kindness and love bestowed to us by our Creator so that we may leave this world better than we found it. With that mindset and the power of Christ, I have no doubt that you're going to spend many, many years in a healthy and happy relationship.
I'd be lying to you if I promised to be the best and perfect man for you. No one could be that. However, I promise that today and years to come, that all who I am will be with you by your side on your sickest and healthiest days, your worst and best days, and of course, on the days the Sooners win and lose. <laughs> but we both know there won't be too many of those. To learn and grow with you, to explore and experience this world with you, to pray and serve with you, to love you. I promise there will always be a Red Baron in the freezer, <laughs> right next to a pint of Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> yeah. And I promise to cheer for the Sooners every Saturday with you and to respect your video game time with the boys. Mm. There we go. <laughs> I solemnly vow to you today and for all of our days to cherish this love through all of life's adventures, listen to you and learn from you, support you, and finally on this day, break the lesson. <laughs> <laughs>